Hey, what's up guys? I'm Phil, this is 3D Japan, and this is a brand new laser from Aidser, which I'm really excited to get into, because it's got some features that I've never used before with a diode laser. Let's get it opened up. Okay, this box is really big, and it was 36 pounds. It's, I barely got it up on the table. So uh, let's uh, see what's inside, because, you know, every other uh, laser I've done, a uh, diode laser, has been in a much smaller box, and it, uh, you know, weighed <laughs> like nothing, like a small fraction of this. So let's see what's in here. All right. Wow. Okay. So first, we got a sheet of metal taped on here. I'm guessing that's for your bed. Let's see what it says. Yep, this is a cutting mat. I'll tape off of there. Okay, set that aside. A big piece of styrofoam here. Okay, we have a instruction manual. Information about light burn. Gonna have to look into that. We have a big user guide. This this is the Acer L2. Okay, nice uh, full color guide. This does appear that it needs assembly, and it is big. So, let's see what we have here. Ah, here is one of the things that I have not been able to try on a laser yet is it has air assist. So this is a compressor. That's very exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna take the box over there and take everything out so I can actually put it on the table. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all the parts here, uh, including the really cool touch screen. I've never seen a laser uh, with any kind of screen, unless you count a couple of numbers on that one. Um, but yeah, that's great. And here's you know, the compressor. Take a look, this must be the laser module. It looks massive. Yeah. That is huge. Really cool. Uh, I noticed there's a hose here for the compressor. And took a look in this bag of parts and I see there's a whole bunch of little baggies and all of them are individually labeled. So I think this is going to be pretty easy to put together. Okay, I'm going to put this together and then I'll come back and we'll get on with burning something. Okay, so we got this thing fully assembled, and it is huge. Uh, as you can see, it barely fits on my table. Uh, but yeah, it was interesting putting it together. There was, it was a little bit troublesome putting it together at first because the manual was not the greatest at explaining things. You had maybe one sentence per step, and a lot of like screws were difficult to understand where to put them, as well as the, the wiring. But uh, then I found they have a YouTube channel and it had the assembly video for this and the video was great. It was so much better than using just the manual. But yeah, okay, let's take a look at it. So, okay, first of all, 
This laser module is huge. It's like twice the size of the others that I've used. But that's because it has the air assist. It has autofocus, which is crazy. I can't wait to see how that works. Uh, it has a crosshair to determine where you want to put it. Then, you know, up front here, I mean, of course, here we have the air assist, which is now hooked up. We have an actual key to lock it. So I guess uh, no kids can get into it. Uh, I've got a power button. We have uh, an emergency light. Uh, USB. That's crazy. And then, of course, we've got the touch screen. Uh, I can't wait to see how well that works. So you can actually use this with no computer at all. But it also uses Wi-Fi, so you can hook it up to Lightburn and have your computer in the other room. So this has so many features and it's 36 watts. It's supposed to be really fast. So, and it says it can cut through really thick wood. So I'm, I'm like really excited to get into this and see everything I can do with it. Let's look at um, their website here, uh, the actual store page for it. It is $1,249.99. So it's not a cheap one, but you get a lot of these features. It is 30, uh, 33 to 36 watts, it says. Um, uses 160 watts of power. Uh, the sintering temperature, 3,000 degrees Celsius. Yow. Uh, let's see. Safety precautions, it has six limit switches. Um, just crazy. Uh, okay, uh, it has a flame detector. Um, it has a gyroscope for if it slopes, like it falls off the table or something, the laser will cut off. Uh, child safety lock, I mentioned, with the keys. Uh, let's see, the max engraving speed is 54,000 millimeters per minute, which is 900 millimeters per second. Working area is uh, 410 by 410 millimeters, uh, which is 16.14 uh, by 16.14 inches. Let's see, focus mode says auto slash manual, so I guess you can do it either way. Uh, it will resume engraving after a power cut, so if you lose power halfway in the middle of a six hour project, you didn't waste your time. Like software, it works with Lightburn, Laser Gerbil, or they have their own mobile app. So you can, uh, I checked out the mobile app. You can actually like draw pictures on it and you can import images and engrave and cut right from the app, which is interesting because uh, the other laser I have that can do that doesn't let you cut from the app. Okay, so I've got some wood here and some other materials, some uh, acrylic. Let's get to engraving and cutting some stuff. Okay, so let's uh, start engraving something that's on the uh, flash drive. Got my wood here, but first thing is first. I'm gonna get this and take this plastic off. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. And from the back. There we go. All right, let's put this down. My wood, put that down. All right, the key. Turn the key, put the flash drive in, and power on. All right, so I'm gonna try and move that over here. I don't know what it's going to make. So, 
Let's hit engrave. And we have a high speed test. But first, safety first, got to put some glasses on. Okay. High speed test. Okay. Frame. I'll have to go up here. Right. Try that again. Frame. Okay, that's perfect. Alright, let's see what it does. Okay. Autofocus failed. That means I'm going to have to bring this down. Try it again. Okay. Still failed. Go down lower. Okay, so I've been engraving some things uh, and cutting some things. Uh, let's take a look at what I've done so far. Uh, first thing, uh, it came with a test file, a speed test it was called, on the USB thumb drive, flash drive. And it was this eagle. <laughs> I had no idea what the file was going to be. It just said speed test. And it's huge. <laughs> Unfortunately, it takes up a lot of wood. I was hoping it would be something smaller for a test. But uh, this did take 15 minutes to engrave this whole thing. Or, to, yeah, to engrave the whole thing. Uh, I, I think that's pretty good. Okay. And it, it looks good. It, it's not really dark, but, uh, you know, my, it's not specifically set up for this particular wood. You know, maybe on a different wood it would be darker. But yeah, it came out pretty good. Uh, next thing is one of my own designs. Uh, I was looking around Reddit and I saw a, a uh, design someone came up with. It was like a little cube shaped lamp uh, made out of laser cut wood. And uh, it had different designs on the outside. And I was like, oh, I could design something like that. So I did. <laughs> Uh, I used a, a box shape that I designed using uh, boxes.py, I believe it's called. Uh, it is a website that you can go in and you enter your parameters and it gives you a box design. So uh, I did the box and then on the walls and the top of the box I made my own designs and patterns. So here's the, the base, I'm going to flip it upside down. and. I have a little tea light that fits in there perfectly. I'm so happy with how well that fits. And I spray painted these white. I think that would I think that looks nice. Uh, here's the top. There's one wall. There's another wall. And another wall. And the final wall. So let's uh, put them together. Now I know from my little test fits, these are a little bit snug. 
especially after I spray painted them. So hopefully I can get them to fit. Okay, so I had to go and uh, check the uh, orientation of uh, all the parts to make sure they were correctly assembled. But yeah, I got it put together. Let's uh, turn the power on. There we go. Now it might be a little hard to see in here, so I'll put it in a shot with the lights turned off. But I think it looks pretty cool. Should uh, shine these these patterns out onto whatever walls are nearby, and this one should shine up on the ceiling. So yeah, I like that design. Come in here. And so the next thing that I was going to work on is uh, I've got this uh, bamboo cutting board uh, just from the dollar store. And I came up with an idea for some, some like flowers that would go in the corners. And then I went to, uh, I wanted to put a recipe on here, but I didn't want to worry about any copyright for the video. So I went to ChatGPT and I asked it to give me a simple recipe for a dessert. And it came up with something that actually looks pretty good that I might try to make. Uh, so it's, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Oreo Cheesecake Bites. They look like it was basically just uh, chopped up Oreos mixed with cream cheese and some powdered sugar and, and you know, making little balls out of it. And it looks pretty good. So <laughs> I'm going to put it on here and then I might actually try to make it. So uh, one thing to note uh, is that I did have trouble with this, with the um, the autofocus. It just wasn't working for me, uh, no matter what I tried. And, you know, I contacted them and, you know, they said they would look into it, sent them a video of what's happening. Uh, so it's probably just because this is a pre-release version and maybe they'll fix it with some firmware. And then the, the ones that are shipped, if you buy it, will probably not have that problem. Um, everything else worked great. The touch screen is really cool. And uh, for the focusing, I had to use the manual method where I just put this thing under the laser and lower it down onto this thing, uh, which is basically the way most other diode lasers work. Uh, but yeah, so let's get to engraving this uh, cutting board. So I had a little bit of trouble uh, with the laser and uh, it took me a little while to figure things out. It turned out I, I had to, ended up uh, removing it from light burn and then just re-adding it over again and then it was working fine. So I'm not sure what happened there. It must have been a light burn issue. Um, but yeah, I got my cutting board engraved and uh, the one thing I noticed is down the middle here, there's a streak that's much lighter in color. And I thought, was that a problem with the, the laser or is it something with uh, bamboo? I know bamboo is notoriously bad for engraving. And so I went ahead and I did it again on the other side. And this one came out perfect. So <laughs> the same settings and everything. So it must have been just a problem with the bamboo itself. But uh, yeah, my, I'm a little bit off-centered here, but it's okay. It was just a test. But yeah, it, it came out great. Unfortunately, my font is a little bit small. Uh, I did make this recipe, and it was turned out to be really good. Uh, unfortunately, it was a little while ago. They're all gone now, so I can't show them. But yeah, they were pretty good. I would recommend them. <laughs> uh, as for the laser itself, um, this is a really really powerful unit and it's big so you could do very large things with this uh, signs and such and it's 
freaking fast. <laughs> it was just mind blowing seeing it zipping back and forth, uh, covering uh, this uh, like this eagle. It's just so fast and uh, powerful too. How it was just cutting through the wood. This is, uh, I think five millimeter plywood, just cut right through that like butter. That was amazing. So, um, you know, I did have a little trouble with the autofocus. That's probably just this unit. I've seen other people in other videos using it and they had no trouble. So it's probably just mine. Um, but otherwise, and the, the air assist worked really well. Um, I'm sure that helped with the cutting this thick wood. Um, yeah, it was really cool. I love, love all the features this has. So I would recommend it. Um, I have, will have links down in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. I can always use more subscribers. And I'll see you next time.